Hey, what's good, man? This is going to be my two-year review after owning this car. I'm going to go down the whole list of reliability, what all I done had to fix, what all been done, and all that. So if y'all want to see that, make sure y'all stay tuned and watch the whole video. Make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video, man. Uh, I done had this car coming up three years will be December. Um reliability man it's a good eight out of ten um the things that i had to replace since i had it i had to replace the motor replace well not replace the transmission well, i got the transmission rebuilt this whole front has been redone because i had a front end accident so this is a new bumper new srt um emblem new headlights uh things i've added uh the front look splitter side skirts rick canards demon wheels as y'all do see um i actually did new brakes all the way around and these are our actually new rotors in the front i'm sorry uh what else don't got the car tenant man um it's a couple goodies under the hood as far as in cold air intake strut tile bar or catch can i feel like that's a big one if you have one of these cars man you gotta have one of them bro with that being said back to reliability um it's a good car it does whatever you want it to do uh, the power's there a lot of people say these cars are slow these cars are not slow bro it, it actually does pretty good for the year for how much horsepower it has for all of that so i would i would actually get this car eight out of ten man um this is by far my best car that i've had as far as in performance wise this has been the fastest car that i had if y'all don't know i didn't start my youtube back then but i actually had a rt challenger that was a 5.7 so I traded that in after I had a son and I went and got a sedan. I wanted a scat pack, but they was asking too much for a scat pack that wasn't that fast. So I ended up just looking at these. I actually was looking at like the 2010 RTs and my cousin was like, man, don't go that man. Just be patient, man. You gon' you gonna find something better. So I waited after he said that maybe a couple hours later, a day later, this popped up. Dude wanted 26,000 talked her down to 20,000 um like i said when i brought this car it actually needed uh lifters and the cam so when i first got it i wasn't actually too uh inclined on all of that because i didn't know too much about the car i didn't know that these cars you know have failing lifters failing cam and stuff like that but i feel like i'm actually on that verge now i don't know why but i feel like it's something that's um that I'm gonna have to upgrade soon. But I'm not too much worried about that because like I said, this is just a car. So things gonna happen and stuff like that. So with that being said, man, um, like I said, it's pretty much a good car, bro. Um, you have the, I'll show y'all the inside too. So I do have the ins the red insides. Y'all didn't know, excuse it. Excuse me, cause it is a little dirty. So I ain't even cleaning it up for real, but as y'all do see red interior, you feel me? And it still looks like it's new, bro. It still looks like it's new. Um, Like I said, this is a 2012. I'm going to let y'all see under the hood and all that, too. So, it is roomy. I'm a tall guy. I'm 6'5". And I have a lot of layer room. Even though my seat is all the way back, which I will show y'all right here. My seat is all the way back. So nobody really can sit behind me, which I don't care because I don't like people riding with me anyway. If so, that's the only seat you can get in. Ain't no back seat, none of that. I actually have to get a screw to hold this back on here. That's nothing. But I'm gonna show y'all under here real quick before I do end this video. As y'all do see, I do have the 6.4. I don't know why people think the 6.1s are in the 2012 plus. But I have the uh, 6.4 in here. This is not a swap. This is actually how they came. It's stock, man. Y'all see right here, what they say right now? Engine, 6.4 liter. This is not a swap. And y'all see it say 2012. 2012, bro. 
this came inside of 2012 bro so 2012 well really the 2011s because the challengers um that's what started the six fours um what do you lose by going 2012 other than newer um you just lose 15 horsepower in the eight speed transmission i have both i like the eight speed because it sounds cool and awesome uh, but as far as in, you know, trying to be faster, trying to do things in that nature, I feel like the five speed is better because while I'm holding gears, the newer cars are changing gears. When you change gears, guess what's happening? You're slowing down just a little bit to change through them gears. While me, on the other hand, I'm holding gears. So while you're changing, I'm walking past you pretty much. But as y'all do see, I have the cold air intake. I do have the strut tire bar and I do have an oil catch can. Um... And I actually do have headers on this car. So that's another thing. A lot of people be asking about gas. <sighs> I'm tuned and all that. And I say I probably spend. I can't really say, but I got I got receipts and all that. I said I was going to add it up and show you all one day. But I know I probably fill up. Maybe three, three times a week, maybe four. And that's like $60 plus every time. So if you just take that six and that three, that's 180 right off rip. So I would say I average $200, uh, less than two, less than 240 a week. Um, now if I'm playing on the other hand, uh, you're not going to get that much, but I know by me just cruising around, I could probably get at least three fill ups in a week and maybe could last longer than that. Like right now I filled this car up. I believe Monday, today's Tuesday. I'm gonna show y'all where it's at. But I probably won't go nowhere today. Might just chill out, I don't know. Might go get a POV for y'all guys. But, let y'all see where the gas hand at, man. So I filled up Monday, and it's like really one notch up from full. Now, I do have some problems with my car, but that's with every car, man. Um, this car is not new, so it's a lot of stuff that I got to replace on here, um, and it's a lot of stuff that I got to get done. But like I said, it's still a good car, bro. Um, the only thing I would say that's bad about this car is everything is high to fix on here. I don't know why Dodge parts are so high, but... Everything that you got to do on this car is high, bro. The transmission rebuild was like 3500 Luckily, I got my engine for 5K, but those guys are high as well. But I added this right here. As you see, I want to add this next and then do the door, then do this. And that's probably going to be it for the carbon fiber because I don't want to do too much. You see what I'm saying? And it's real life, like... It's real live, like basic in here. So I got to add just a little bit of pieces. This gear shift was added too. Um, yeah, like I said, bro, this is a good car, bro. I don't want this video to be too long, but I just want y'all to know, like, if you want one of these cars, bro, go get it. Stop trying to follow the hype and think you got to get the new car to keep up, bro. You don't. The new cars have trouble keeping up with me. You see what I'm saying? Like, if that makes any sense. But like I said, if it's something that you want, bro, make sure, make sure that you go get it, bro. Don't let nobody talk you out of it. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, that's an old car. Go get something new. Don't let nobody tell you nothing like that, bro. Go get what you want to get, bro. Um, Like I said, I could keep up with the new scats. I could blow the new scats. I, I mean, it, it, it really, it really is, it really feels like a modern muscle car bro i don't feel like i'm left out of anything bro i feel like when i pull up in this i'm turning heads you feel me it's like a box chevy pulling up to like god dang uh what you want to say chevy impalas or something like that i don't know bro i don't know how to compare it but that's basically how it feels bro it feels like i'm in a in a in a car that used to be everybody's dream bro i don't think nobody realized this is like the first hellcat bro like this was the fastest dodge you can get back in 2012, bro. Like, this was the top of the line. 
That's why. I, that's why I got SRT on the, the uh, seats, bro. This is the top of the line, and I do have a sunroof. Like I got everything in here, bro. Like it's nothing that you could think of that this car don't got. Now I will tell you with the 2012s, you only have track. You don't have sport. Now on the 2013s plus, you have track and you also have sport. Also, the 2013s plus have the uh, what is it? Lunch control. Um, I think that's it. They got lunch control on there. They can change a couple more things in the settings, which I ain't tripping about that because who really lunching a car, bro? Like either you're going to catch traction or you're not like ain't nobody really going to care about that. So with that being said, bro, I think that's going to be it. This is my two year going on three year review on my SRT8, bro. And I will tell anybody and they mama, they grandma, they granddaddy, they uncle, they auntie, they sister, they brother, they cousin, they nephew, anybody go get one of these cars bro if you are on the budget go get one of these cars until you can go get what you want bro because this is a modern day muscle muscle car bro like the power that's in these cars like stock it's still fast bro like it's still fast even though i got headers tune cold air intake like bro this car still is modern day fast bro i promise you i kid you not bro i promise you bro go get one of these cars bro if you want something fast and you're on the budget bro because nobody's really finna drop no 35k plus right now the scat packs are what brand new 50 65 like bro ain't nobody finna do that bro when when you can go get one of these and, and pay no more than 25k bro and still have low miles like I don't get it, bro. People be listening so much about the hype, bro. Like, all that junk is cool and gravy, bro. But this car to me is more muscle. Like, I, I got the... Like, let me show y'all, bro. For the newer cars... The motherfuckers are bubbles. This is more so squared off. Like, it looks so aggressive, bro. It looks so aggressive. It looks so aggressive. And then the back... And then the back is boxed off, too. Like, I freak with all this, bro. I got the fuse on there, five inch tips. Like, bro, this bitch is part of me, bro. Y'all don't know, bro. SRT8, bro. Go look them up. SRT8, bro.